Let's start with P Valley episode seven. It was fire. I love the yeah. episode. One of the best episodes this year. Yeah. Now, give me your synopsis of what you think. Yeah, man, that was that was a really solid episode. It was good. You know, it was really interesting how um, I, there was there was that one scene with uh, with, with little murders um, when his boys saw him come out of the woods with Uncle Clifford. Oh yeah. And now you you forecasted that. Speaking of what yeah. you you said on the show like each week, if real dudes knew he was like that, it'd be over for him. You said that over and over and over again. Yeah. And so his boy saw him and his boy told him, he was like, look, because at first he tried to make it out like it was nothing. He said, and I, apparently his boy knew that he had hooked up with him before because he said, look, you said it was only that one time. And, mm -hmm. you know, and he's saying, look, you, can, you, you can't control. He said the heart wants what the heart wants, but what you can control is how many people know about it. Exactly. And, I mean, on one end, I'll be honest with you, on one end, I felt like, damn, that's some cold-blooded stuff because his boy was like, we're about this money and nothing's going to stop us from getting this paper. But then at the other, at the same time, he was really sort of like, he was, he was really back. sort of sympathetic and just like, look, man, yeah. I get it. I get yeah. it. You want what you want. I'm not, I'm not here to hate on you, mm -hmm. but this could mess our whole situation up. So you can't just be out in the open with it. And it's not anything that Uncle Clifford hasn't been telling him. Uncle Clifford's just right. been saying it for different mm -hmm. reasons. Uncle Clifford's exactly. been saying it because he doesn't want to go get killed. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. So, but I, I thought that part was really interesting that, that that was how his boy came at him. Because, you know, I'll be honest with you, man. If it was, if that was one of my boys, I can't imagine I would have done anything different. You know? Yeah, I felt like that that friend was a real friend. The friend sympathized yeah. with him liking who he liked. But at the same time, the friend told him what he needed to hear about how yeah. he's got to protect his money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It the, definitely. The, and those are the kind of friends you need to surround yourself with, ladies and gentlemen, just right. in your personal life. You can't have yes men surrounding you for everything you do or they'll have you up here looking like Tiger Woods. So right. I, I thought they handled that particular situation very well because they could have took it and had the friend blow up, get into a fight with him and all that. They could have done that, yeah. but they didn't. So they, they handled didn't. that I way. Thought, and I thought it was really, I thought it was really cool that, and I mean, because it, I, I understand that, 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 that little murder probably realizes this dude is my real, is my real, just, he's a real G. He's my, he's my dude. Like he may not agree with what I'm doing. He may not like what I'm doing, but because we're friends and part of it's the money too, but part of it is because we're friends, you know, he's telling me like it is. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you one scene I did not need to see in that. Oh, I boy. did not need to see Lil Murder butthole naked, or excuse me, <laughs> almost naked, wearing his white nikes and his white socks <laughs> up there on that stage, dropping it down low, rapping. No one need to see his butt squatted up there. No, come on, man. Hey, man. We and y'all. And y'all women wrong talking about his penis small because when he dropped it like it was hot, y'all ain't see no wiggle yeah, down there. See that? I wasn't looking for it, but I mean, now that you mention it, I'm right there with nothing to see there. Boy, y'all women ought to stop y'all mess, man. Y'all, boy. <laughs> but, but Larry, he was being coached up by your girl, the Crooked Letter. She was trying to get him hype because, again, Little, Little Murder showed just how young his ass is. Because he's afraid of he's afraid of being on a stage and he's trying to be a rapper. Yeah, he I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of people out there that that are artists that have that suffer from stage fright. So I I, I can understand that people I'm do not, it. I'm not saying it ain't, but when it's time to do it, you got to do it. And he would not have done it had it not been for Mississippi taking him and putting her through what she went through last episode. Right. She she's definitely little Mississippi has definitely come into her own and. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking forward to see how her relationship ends up turning out with that with that crazy ass white boy, because we can tell he's ultra violent. I mean, the way that Gidget just like froze up in fear over him, mm -hmm. you know, that dude seems like he must be just straight sadistic or something. But we can see how Keyshawn is, is just getting her confidence up to a point that I don't think she's going to be able to continue to tolerate that you know, that, that abuse, she's just not going to be able to do it. And, 
And I just knew when they had those two, when they had her and Diamond up there lingering, just about the the, the touch lips, and I just knew something was going to interrupt that. I was like, they're not going to yeah. give it to us just yet. They're going to make us. They're going to they're going to make Diamond kill her her boyfriend or something before before they mm-hmm. get there. Either they're going to make it get there before, or it's going to happen right before they he ends up having to kill dude. Because there's going to be something that either he's going to have to go away or he's going to get locked up. Something I don't know, but right. I, I um I felt like that was gonna be a scene interrupted possibly by the baby daddy, but they didn't do it then. Um, right. but you knew they wasn't about to allow them to have that moment in the back. Yeah, yeah, in the back of the club, in the back of pink. They won't about to let them have that moment then. Yeah. And then to, to circle back to Corbin and his brothers, <laughs> we, it, it, we, we often tease about how dumb. The southern male, southern white male, that is, with the slave mentality, can be. And Larry, did you see how dumb these fools were? These fools was mad at Andre for not only getting them a, a lease contract that's going to pay 15 grand a month, but also 1% of the revenue of the yeah. casino, not the profit, ladies and gentlemen. There is a difference. The full revenue. Revenue. And now yeah. me and my wife went to Louisiana last year for my birthday, and they was telling me that in a month, in a month, the one casino in Louise in New Orleans brings in $30 million a month. You yeah. do that times 12, and that's what these boys could be bringing in a year. And they sitting up there tripping about $6 million up front. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, that's that's just crazy. I mean, you figure thirty million dollars a month. So you figure that that's that's what. Let's see, one percent of that. So you have ten percent of that would be three million, and so another ten percent would be three hundred. So you're talking about three hundred thousand dollars a month, right? right. You on know, top, over, on over top of fifteen, months. on top of fifteen grand a month. Yeah. So you're. I mean. I mean, they're talking about you're talking about an extraordinary, extraordinary amount of money that these dudes will be making as a as a consequence of them signing a lease rather than selling. And it's so I mean, it's and the crazy thing about it is, I mean, I don't know how long that lease is for. Usually those leases are pretty long, like 99 years or something. But you still have a legacy you can pass on. And because. You, you because the casino will have been there and their family members will understand how the business works. When the lease is time to come to re-up the lease, they can just simply say, yeah, we'll re-up it, but we want, instead of 1%, we want 5%, you know? Right, we want Something. 3%. We, we, after that 20 years is up, we got a family that's got to go through college, whatever, whatever, and we yeah. want to re-up that lease. So, yeah. Um, but I, and then you got to talk about, <laughs> it was funny as hell to see Uncle Clifford in his black power gear out there with Mercedes' oh, mom. Pro- oh, he was a mess. <laughs> oh, man. I was, was a mess. I was dying laughing, man. You got to love that character, though, man. That character is the glue that brings this thing together. He was, he was a out mess. There. He, was like a, he was like a combination of, of Stokey Carmichael and Angela Davis, boy. <laughs> a black power. And did man. you see the way the crowd was looking at him as he was walking up there to uh, Mercedes' mom, yeah. man. That, <laughs> so, so you know, the, the big rumor is someone is going to die next week. You've got the mayor who could possibly die because the, you heard the white dude say they upset with him and they told right. the mayor exactly what you said last week, that there's a plan of action to get his ass up out of there. They don't yeah. got what they needed out of you. They're going to get him out of there. Um Diamond is someone I think that could possibly die, or Big L. Those are my three mm-hmm. top on my three top list of people that could possibly die. And then I'm I, don't swing. Think I don't think it's going to be a major character. You don't. So so Big L yeah. is not a major character. Now nah, he's really. been in there enough. I think that I think it's either going to be I think it's either going to be uh, Keyshawn's uh, baby daddy, uh-huh. or it's going to be or it's going to be uh, uh, Autumn's Autumn's dude. Okay. I think it's going to be one of those. I think so, it'll be one of those two. Now, this is what got me with Mercedes. You know, I've been caking up for Mercedes the whole season. Autumn 
was going to give Mercedes an extra 10 grand to help her with her business. And Mercedes pride wouldn't let her take it, which yeah, that's that, crazy. that warned me back over to Autumn because on the first episode, I was all about Autumn. Then it switched to Mercedes. OK, now when Mercedes went to dance on Autumn's boyfriend, husband, whoever he is, and he said he wanted Autumn. When mm. she brought Autumn over there, did she not think that the way Autumn was looking at this guy, that something was up? That maybe she, she should have, but she, she was like, blinded by the stacks. That's what you think it was? I think she was just blinded by because you remember when he when she walked over there, dude basically handed her like a stack of 20s and was just like, Bad. No, you're cool, but I'm looking at somebody else tonight. And and basically was just like, here, take your stack so I don't have to worry about you lingering around. Mm -hmm. And and I think she was just blinded by the stacks. So. Nah, Mercedes, you got to do better than that. You was teaching other girls the ropes, and you saw that befuddled look. I mean, Autumn looked like somebody had just slapped her in the face with a poop stick. I yeah, mean, she, she looked had, like she had seen a ghost. Yeah, man. And uh, Mercedes, yeah. you got to do better than that. Um, um, the only uh, other point, go ahead, Larry. I, I was going to say, you know, as far as as who might get killed what i was thinking something that might someone who might do some killing it could possibly be little murder not getting killed but it could possibly be little murder ends up killing uh you know mississippi's uh baby daddy because you know they're all they're all snuggled up over there in their business type situation and they're you know they're fronting like they're together but at the same time, if you see those two together, they're actually becoming really good friends mm -hmm. and, and they're working to, you know, to sort of come up together. Mm -hmm. And I could very likely see something happening where, you know, where uh, Keyshawn's baby's daddy comes up and says something or does something in public. And not only does he want to help her because, because, you know, little murder would be her friend, but also it could just simply be, he can't not do something because if this happens in public and that's supposed to be his girl and they're all on social media, he can't not do something. You know, it's all about, you know, preserving his rep at that point. Mm -hmm. So and he might do it because how do you think Keyshawn's baby daddy is going to handle her dancing all up on Little Murder when he does his big his big stage play next episode? That's probably right. going to send the baby daddy in rage, and they probably and not, run not, in just, not not just because of him seeing it, but dude brought his friends there. Who yeah. brings? I mean, I get it if your girl strips, but do you gonna bring your friends to go see your girl strip? But he's bringing her up there, and now he's gonna see his girl up there with this other dude already at a strip club, already a stripper, and now she's gonna be on stage with another man acting like they're together. Dude's not gonna be able to handle that. I wouldn't be surprised if Little Murder and Diamond ended up killing that dude because he's probably gonna go off and Diamond's got to drag him outside and Little Murder might end up being outside with his people. Some I, I think I, the more I think about it, I think it might be Keyshawn's baby daddy that goes out. Either that or maybe Keyshawn's baby daddy and one of his friends end up shooting, you know, Diamond or Little Murder outside the club when they're going when they drag him out front. So right. So what do you think is the deal with Autumn's baby daddy asking her for money? They showed you in the very beginning of the episode, it was a flashback to her doing a sexy dance on him. And then the baby started crying. Now, personally, I don't know too many men that would have got up from that dance if the baby is in the room crying. But, you know, hey, to each day on, she got, he got up to go check on the baby while she was dancing on him. And she was smiling in that scene. Then we right. we go back to the club when they're in the champagne room slash boom boom room. He's looking right. at her like, weigh my money. So what do you think he's talking about? Well, it seems to me like they were probably running scams together. I mean, she had to learn that from somewhere unless she unless she taught him, you know. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like they were probably running a scam together. And she, you know, because, you know, remember, she said, you shot me. I mean, she said, I shot you. And he said, well, not right. good enough. You know, and and so it seems like something happened with them. I mean, it looked like they're like we had seen some other flashback scenes where it looked like, you know, that he was being violent with her and abusing her. So it looked like she probably got fed up with them at one point and shot him and then dipped out. Who knows? Maybe she shot me. Maybe when the hurricane came and all that was going off, maybe she shot him during the hurricane and figured that if he got shot dead, no one would find anything it would just be, you know, 
he'd be shot dead, his body'd be rotted away, and 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 no one would know if he got shot from her, or just some other person out there looting or whatever. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It's gonna be curious to see what happens with that. I think it's a possibility he might be the one that ends up getting killed as well, because I, I think Autumn Autumn might take dude out, you know. She and might, if I'm not and- mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I think that gun is still in her locker. So when she goes back into the uh, into the into the back room and she already knows dudes in the club, if she pulls that gun out, I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up killing that dude. Cause if he's like, you know, she's like, I shot you. And he was like, well, not good enough. It's almost like it's foreshadowing. It's almost like saying, okay, I need to shoot you again and do it right this time. Mm -hmm. Um, And final point, spill the damn tea. TV says the money that she was siphoning was coming from his account. The money that she kept going to doing those transfers and all that, she's saying was coming from his accounts. Hmm. Okay. So I, I, guess I don't know. We'll, I mean, something's got to be up with all that money, you know? Yeah, we'll see. Two episodes left. They're going to do some tying up, ladies and gentlemen. They have um, got the authorization for a second season. Real good yeah. show. I can't wait. Last but she must have been a stripper before. You think she must so? have been a stripper before because she was dancing for him like she was a stripper. Most women don't know how to dance like that. Most women, when you see them trying uh-huh. to dance like a stripper, most of them are fairly awkward and don't really know how to dance like an actual stripper. Well, and also, who wait, 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 I gotta stop you right there. When, when is the last time you've been you live in Washington, DC, close to numerous clubs? Every damn girl can drop it like it's hot the way she was doing in them clubs where you live at. <laughs> Come yeah, on, but that's man. because they're actual strippers. They know they're, they 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 all them no, man. They, no, man, all them girls. They they ain't, no, they ain't all strippers, man. Stop it. Any woman that want to get a man penis to rise, you ain't even got to have no coordinates. Just shake your hind parts left and right in a little <laughs> slow motion. The penis <laughs> is gonna rise. So it won't nothing special about that dance she was doing, man. Oh, well, man. Come and, on, and this man. is my other thought. And I mentioned this earlier. Like when most people get in a hard way, mm-hmm. they don't meet most people go to what they know. They don't True. go to something different. So most people go to what they know. And for her, she went to stripping. It's just like some people, if you if you get in a hard way and you used to be an accountant, then you go find a job as a as a bookkeeper or an accountant or something. If you got if you are a uh, car salesman. You go find a car lot and you start selling cars. You know, if you're a drug dealer, you sell drugs. If you're a if you're a paramedic, you go work on an ambulance. So I think for her, when when she got in a hard way, she went to go shake that ass and, and work as a stripper. I don't think I mean, so. You know, I don't think so. I don't think so. Could be wrong, know, but man. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll be back. We'll be back for next week. Now, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, next week is the last episode, right? Because they're only giving us eight, right? I thought they did nine. Is, is it eight? nine? Okay. It might be. It might be eight. For some reason, I thought it was nine, but we'll see. 